I dropped Luke home this morning because obviously I don't know if I told you guys this but we were actually this is the most annoying thing me and Luke have broken down twice together it's just like typical it feels like whenever we want to go out somewhere like we just break down I know it only happened twice but it's like it's only ever happened with me and Luke like when we're together do you know what I mean like it never happens when I'm with my friends or anything last week he was supposed to come to mine and we were like driving together literally got 10 minutes down his road like from his house and we live an hour away from each other and his car just stopped working and I was like are you joking so then I had to get the train home and then my train ended up being cancelled so then I had to get an uber and then my uber went the wrong way my uber cost me 50 pound in the end which is a joke long story short Luke's car's broken so it's fixed now though I think he said it's fixed oh he should actually be driving it now because he said he was going out with his friends. It's my stepdad's birthday today, so we're going out for a meal tonight. So I just got ready and I'm about to do my sister's makeup. So I might film a little bit for you guys. I actually know what to wear. Like I'm really stuck on what to wear. I don't know if anyone else does this, but every time I leave the house or like go to like an important place, I go on Pinterest to look for outfit ideas. I want to wear something cool, but like I can't really wear something casual because I'm going for a birthday meal. Do you know what I mean? I've got kind of look presentable. What the hell do you even wear to a birthday meal at Christmas time? Like in summer I feel like you can just wear like a cute dress or something but in winter what the hell are you supposed to wear? I think we're going to an Italian which I'm so excited for because I love Italian food so much. It's my favourite in the world. I come over in both angles, one there, one there. <laughs> <laughs> got scared then. Because like when I did your makeup the other day you were literally not even speaking to me. Oh, wasn't I? No, I think it's because you just woke up there. I finished her makeup. This is how she likes it, not how I like it. So, this is her personal preference, guys. I would do her makeup more natural. She can't even see your head! She doesn't like my outfit either, so she's gonna make me change. <laughs> No, it just doesn't look very smart for dinner. Yeah, it does. Basically, it's like this, and then the exact same on my legs. And she doesn't like it. Not to a fancy restaurant. You have to wear smart clothes there. I'm 15. I don't think they're really going to care what I'm wearing. I really don't know what to wear for dinner tonight. I'm wearing this, like, thing from Zara with my black jeans. My brother just came in and was like, he looks so weird. He was like, oh, I like that. And I was like, oh, you like this? And he was like, no, your tattoo. I was like, ah. Oh. Even though I got my tattoo done like seven months ago. Like, just ignore the fact. He's had seven months to tell me he likes my tattoo. And then he, he pranked me. Oh, I don't know whether to wear like a little white top and then my trench coat. I feel like that's more male vibes. I feel like this is more like cosy. I don't know. Why am I stressing so much? I don't have to wear the crop trench or my long trench. I want to wear this because I actually never wear it. I always wear my long one. However, this thing just like doesn't stay down and it annoys me so much. So I'm really indecisive right now. This is like the full mirror fit with my Uggs. I think that'd be really cute. We are now ready to go for a meal. I'm literally in my dressing gown. <laughs> You guys are probably like, what is she doing? I don't even know what I'm wearing still, but... I'll help it. Yeah, my sister's coming in to help me, because... I don't know. She's going to wear my Jordan 4s. Yes. To dinner. Because I said, if you let me choose your outfit, you can wear these. Because she has to look cool in them. Look what happened to my Jordan 4s. My friend put her pumpkin spice frappuccino on them. So they're like orange. I feel like you can't really tell on the camera, but yeah. That's why I never wear them. They're just on my shelf. Hey vlog. We just had dinner. Look how cute it is. We didn't go to this Point out there. It looks so cute, doesn't it? Not down here, it doesn't. It's a bit sketchy down here. Oh. And we saw a ghost. Yeah, that was scary. That was scary. Up here. Oh no. Oh. Dinner was so nice. Obviously I didn't film much, but I ended up having a meatball pasta bake and it was between that or the Christmas pizza, which had like turkey stuffing, 
onions, like, I can't even remember, bacon, oh, it sounded so good, but I just wasn't in the mood for pizza because we had a Domino's like two nights ago, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to get the meatball pasta, and it actually tasted like macaroni cheese, and it wasn't that great, I mean, it was nice, like, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't what I was expecting, do you know what I mean, I thought it was going to be more tomato -y, but it was like so cheesy, it was really nice where we went, it was really cosy, and it was so Christmassy, like, the town we went to, just had so much Christmas lights up, it was just so cosy, I just love it. It's currently 9 o'clock, so it's kind of late, this is my bedtime. Like if I'm not in bed with my teeth brushed, in my pyjamas by 10 o'clock, I go crazy. I'm just gonna have a bit of a cosy night, I don't know whether to wrap some presents tonight, I think I've got two more presents, no, three more presents to wrap, so I don't know if to do that tonight or tomorrow. I don't even know when I should like wash my hair and stuff and like fake tan for Christmas. I don't know if anyone else has this dilemma. You'll be watching this Christmas Eve probably because it's going out Christmas Eve. So I don't want to do it Christmas Eve because I'm going to my boyfriend's house Christmas Eve because I'm staying over waking up at his on Christmas. Then we're going to come back here Christmas Day. So I can't like fake tan and stuff in the day like I like doing it before I go to sleep. So maybe I'll do it Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, Saturday I'll like wash my hair, tan all of that so tomorrow yeah tomorrow I'll wrap and stuff my mum's got her last day of work tomorrow as well so we might watch a christmas movie together everyone's saying this year they don't feel christmasy i feel so christmasy i've never felt this christmasy i don't know what it is but like i've had like 10 people say to me i don't feel christmasy i don't know when to clean my room i'll do that saturday as well saturday's gonna be my everything day i'll probably speak to you guys tomorrow if i don't speak to you again tonight Say so, goodnight, Chris. Good morning, princess. Oh, you're so cute. Taco slept in my room all morning. My mum has this tradition that, like, when she wakes up, my mum wakes up at like six, he'll like want to come in my room. And it's now 12, so he's been in here since six, just sleeping. And I bought this blanket for him, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. He's so lazy, I need to literally drag him out of bed to go downstairs for a wee. If I didn't, he would happily just stay up here all day and wee in my bed, wouldn't you? <laughs> He's so cute. Mm. I feel like the camera's always here now. I just filmed a TikTok doing this little beauty hack and I'm obsessed with it. So I thought I'd show you guys as well. So it's this tanning contour stick. So it's actually meant for your contour. Whenever I do my makeup, my face different colour to my neck. I just don't like putting makeup all over my neck. Do you know what I mean? I just feel a bit gross. So this thing, it's like the Charlotte Tilbury contour one, but it's tan. So it's fake tan. So this will stay here as well for like a few days. So I can do my makeup for a few days. You put that on your neck and then I get this little face tanning thing from Tanologist and I just go like this. Obviously I've already done it so you haven't seen the difference, but it makes such difference I think it just makes you look so much better probably wasn't the best idea to do this with a white top on because I've literally got it on my top now <laughs> also my brother's friend who's a plumber is coming around today because basically we have like a shower pump no one cares literally no one asks but we have a shower pump and it's in my room like it's in my wardrobe which is so annoying so he's gonna have to come in here because it's like broken so he's gonna have to come in here and fix it and it's just annoying do you know what i mean because i'm just like kind of waiting for him obviously it's not annoying he's fixing it i also have to call the bank today because someone's trying to not hack my bank account but basically this is so stupid and when i tell people this story i feel like such an idiot like why did i even do this why did i even fall for it but you know how you can like download your tiktoks so they don't have watermarks on i do that so then i can post like them on instagram and I did it the other day and it said I had to pay 1p but I've always used this brand so I was like oh like I trust that and like I've always used them like it's literally 1p it's not gonna hurt. I went to do it, I did it, I paid 1p for this thing and now they're taking like £30 out a day of my bank account so my bank account blocked my card so I can't actually use my card so now I literally have like zero money. I do have my savings but that's the only like card that I use. I'm literally going to have to call the bank today and try and sort that out, which I just find so awkward. I hate stuff like that. I hate calls with, like, random people. I just find it so awkward. Like, what am I even supposed to say? Oh, yeah, like, I'm an idiot. Like, 
I paid 1p for this thing. I got scammed, like, oh, it's just embarrassing. I need to do it though, I'm putting it off, but the bank closes at five and they're not open on the weekends, so, and it's Friday. So I've literally got four hours, so I need to get on with that. And it's like, you have to like stay on hold as well. I'm like, what do you do when you're on hold? I just find it so awkward, like you can't go for a wee or anything, because if they answer the phone, you can't eat, like you literally just have to sit there like waiting for them to answer and it could take like an hour. I need to stop procrastinating and just do it. I have a PR package, so I thought we'd open it together. I'm trying to open it without showing you guys my address. I'm so excited about this because I actually got to choose everything. And it's from Too Faced. I kind of forgot why I chose this, so we'll open them all together. Some little bits. I literally love my management so much. She's always like, I pick a few things from her and I'm like, what? This is a dream. So I actually have the Too Faced highlighter and it's insane. And it looks exactly like this, but it's pink. So this is the contour. Look at that, that's stunning. Ignore the mirror. You can't even see. Look how pretty that is. I think I've got the darkest colour, it doesn't even look that dark. Oh, I think this is a blush. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty this is. The packaging, 10 out of 10. That's such a nice colour as well. So like corally. I love coral blush. And I've got the Better Than Sex mascara because I've always wanted to try this. I've never tried it. I remember when I was a kid, like everyone would rave about it. I don't even wear mascara anymore. So let's have a little reveal. Wow. The packaging, again. The packaging is so pretty. Oh, this is a concealer. It looks massive for a concealer. It looks like a foundation. This is like white as well. I really want a light concealer because, wow. Insane. I got the foundation in golden beige. I don't think I've tried any of these products. The only Too Faced thing I've tried is the highlighter. Oh, this is broken. And that's the foundation. That is very dark. It's so annoying online though because you just can't tell what colour the shade's going to be. The plumber came around earlier and he was in my room for like four hours. So I've literally had to just sit downstairs all day and just watch YouTube. I've just come up and done some filming. Now I'm thinking I might wrap some presents because it's Christmas in like two days. And I've still got presents to wrap. You wouldn't believe it. Also, I've just come on my period. Like, how annoying is that for Christmas? Like, on Christmas, I just want to chill. The last thing I want is to come on my period. I got these Converse socks for my dad because he asked for them. The thing is, my dad is so indecisive. Like, he said, don't get me socks. And then a day later, he was like, can I have socks for Christmas? It's like, what? So I'm kind of worried that he's not going to actually want them because he'll probably forget they even asked for them this is also so cute my parents friends daughter's friend made me this little christmas card and it's so cute she said i love watching your tiktoks and youtube have the best christmas how cute is that i've literally got luke's parents presents here i got this for my mum. i'm kind of scared to show it i might just tell her like not to watch this video because Christmas will be like the day after. So she would have got it on Christmas day. It's this body scrub from Tropic and it smells incredible. My mum's obsessed with Tropic. Every year I get her loads of stuff from Tropic. I also got her a face wash from Tropic for Christmas but that's already wrapped. But this came really late and it comes with this little spoon. It's so cute. How cute is that? Like a little, oh. So and then I also have this for my boyfriend's parents because I don't know if this is just me but I never know what to get my boyfriend's parents for Christmas but I thought this was really cute I got them some mugs like two mugs each because they're getting a coffee machine for Christmas and the, I've already wrapped the mugs so I can't show you comes with a tin of shortbread you would not believe how much this basket was it looks like it would be like £10 honestly I'm not going to tell you how much it was, but it broke the bank account. You would not believe it. So I got this little tin of shortbread. I think the tins are just so cute. Like, I love 
this present. If someone got me this. And then some gold tea bags because his mum drinks tea. And then some classic grounded coffee because his dad drinks coffee. And then it comes with these little chocolates and some mini chocolate buttons. But yeah, I just didn't know what to get them because I never know what to get my parents boyfriend for Christmas. My boyfriend's parents, not my parents boyfriend. I don't know if anyone else has this dilemma, but every year I'm like, right, what do I get? Like, I feel like the mum is fine to buy for I can easily buy from mum. But the dad, like, what the hell would you buy for your boyfriend's dad? I thought it would just be best to get them like a joint present. And I was gonna get like a cheese and like olives kind of one, but those ones weren't being delivered until like next year. So I was just like, oh, I'm gonna have to get this one. This wasn't my first choice, but I think it was really cute and I'm glad I got it because I know they both like tea and coffee. I told my parents and they were like, yeah, get the tea and coffee one because we'd like that if we got that. So yeah, gotta wrap those three things. I don't know whether to wrap this because it's already in a basket, but then I feel like if I just give them a basket, they'll be like, what? I feel like if I wrap it, it's more Christmassy, you know? So yeah, I don't know how on earth I'm gonna wrap this, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap those three. Fact your self-esteem. I feel like when you look good, you feel good, and then when you feel good, you do good. Absolutely love it. You're doing your blend. Yeah, if it's that style, it's that palette that you like to I have finally finished wrapping and I've just wrapped this. It was actually pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be really hard because it's massive. But I finally finished. The back pain wrapping gives me is, I can't even describe it. It hurts my back so much. I don't think I have anything else to wrap now. Also, why am I in jeans? Like, get me in my pajamas right now. I'm gonna take my makeup off, do a hair mask. I think my dinner's nearly ready, so I'm gonna have dinner first and then get in my PJs, just have a nice cozy night. I feel really productive that I've wrapped everything. I probably have like 50 presents and it's taken me like a week to wrap everything. I literally ate wrapping. Yeah. I'm on a YouTube video. Okay, um, be sure to like and subscribe before you continue watching this video. And yeah, just just comment how much you love Katie Gibbs. Jesus, move the mic, why don't you? Comment how much you love Katie Gibbs, is that better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's now the evening i've had dinner and stuff um i did some of my brother's wrapping for him because apparently he can't wrap i just call it lazy and now i'm gonna oil my hair because it's hair wash day tomorrow i'm gonna be glowing up tomorrow for i'm gonna be glowing up tomorrow for the christmas for Christmas day. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's literally Christmas Eve Eve tomorrow. Time has gone so quick that I can't even like comprehend that it's two days until Christmas tomorrow. When I was younger, I used to have the longest hair in school. Like it was so healthy and so long. It went down to my bum. And obviously now it's not very healthy. Like you can see it does not go down to my bum. I actually cut it myself the other day. I always cut my hair myself. Next year, I'm gonna actually take care of my hair. Basically, in school, I used to have the nicest hair. And what I did was I put coconut oil in my hair like every single time I washed my hair. I'd literally lather my hair in it. And I, you don't really hear many people say that. Like, there's always like rosemary oil, um, like the hair syrup things, but you actually have to like spend loads of money on those things. Like, coconut oil was literally two pounds from the supermarket and it lasts forever. I genuinely think this is what made my hair healthy and I'm just so lazy I can never be bothered to actually do it but I'm gonna start taking care of my hair so I'm gonna let my natural roots grow through which I'm really not looking forward to but it is what it is but you can see me better now I'm just doing a coconut oil hair mask however when you wash your hair out with this like you have to do a proper deep wash it's not just like a quick little you have to properly shampoo your hair and stuff and it goes everywhere like it's so oily it makes your hair smell horrible you'd think coconut oil smells nice but it doesn't yeah i literally never hear anyone rave about it i never hear anyone rave about coconut oil but when i was younger it was all i used to put in my hair and i used to have the nicest like healthiest hair ever i miss it so much so i'm gonna start doing this again i literally haven't vlogged anything today 
because it's just been such a busy day believe it or not it's been like a chill day but i've just had so much to do like prepping everything for christmas i like did my brows did my lashes did a face mask washed my hair fake tanned i've literally just fake tanned it looks so orange it's actually 10 it's 10 42 right now i can't believe i've literally vlogged nothing all day i haven't even had time to pull the camera out and i thought i'd wait until i tanned and then i watched a film with my parents and then i was like i need to tan so i was like oh, i'll just vlog after i've tanned i'm all tanned i'm gonna shave and stuff tomorrow this is the tan that i use it's from loving tan and this is the two hour express one but i just leave it on overnight i use a different one for my face but i'll show you that in a minute when i tan my face i just thought i'd come on here and do some teeth whitening strips with you guys i actually got sent these from white speak and Sfield. i used a whole pack of these and they worked so well and then my manager got me some more and i'm obsessed with them I haven't done any yet from this pack so we'll do some together and it comes with two strips like this I don't actually know which ones go where but I just do whatever and then leave for 20 minutes this is the before. This is the after of my teeth. I don't know if you can see the difference. That's made. Literally works. Insane. Look at my teeth. I don't know. So this is the face tan I use. It's called Skinny Tan just a self tanning oil and then I just spray it on this brush from Tanner Digest and then just go over the bits I haven't gone over yet because I always like forget to go around my eyebrows and then they look really silly they look really white so yeah that is my face tanning routine and my teeth whitening routine I'm gonna get some sleep now it's gonna be Christmas Eve tomorrow and this video is going on tomorrow. Hey queens, it's Christmas Eve and I cannot even believe I'm saying that right now. Like how is it Christmas Eve? Like how has it been a year? Time actually flies so quick. I've washed my tan off this morning. This is the results of the tan. I literally love it so much. I'm in the worst pain for my period. Like I can't even move. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain for my period. I don't know why I'm in so much pain. But I am. I'm in agony. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here because obviously it's Christmas Eve. And I will be doing a what I got for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Obviously, it's not as clean anymore because I've been sat around in it and stuff. Cleaned my whole room this morning. It's now like 12 o'clock so... I'm leaving to go to my boyfriend soon. I'm going to drive there later. I think I'm going to drive around like three-ish. So I've got like three hours till I'm leaving yet. But I just thought I'd end the vlog here. And I hope you all have an amazing Christmas. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next video.